Welcome to the official YouTube channel of Fourturnia.com. I'm your host, AJ, and today we're doing an unboxing and a mini review of the Masterverse Masters of the Universe Revelation Wave 10 Clamp Champ figure. Now, this is the first time that Clamp Champ has ever appeared in Masterverse plastic, so this is a first. And I want to elaborate more on first just for a moment. And that's why I have these two Masterverse figures out today. To the left, I have the Revelation Fisto. And to the right, I have the Revelation Tila 2.0, otherwise known as Classic Tila. And I wanted to get this trio together because do you remember in the Masters of the Universe Revelation Episode 1, these three were running together. They were charging towards Castle Grayskull. The reason why they were running there is because Skeletor, they had learned that Skeletor had taken over the castle and they were going to try to take it back. And it was very exciting. Well, that episode marked the very first time, the very first time that Clamp Champ had ever appeared in Masters of the Universe animated form. That's right, he was never in a cartoon before. Now, his original figure came out in 1986, and unfortunately, it was too late to appear in the Filmation series. The Filmation series, He Man and Masters of the Universe, aired between 1983 and 1985. So, Clamp Champ didn't even exist yet. And uh, he never appeared in New Adventures, and for some reason he never appeared also in the 2000X Mike Young series. I mean, I heard that he eventually was going to appear, that he eventually was going to replace Man at Arms. Maybe it was going to be Season 3, but he never actually appeared. But finally, 35 years later, here he was in Episode 1, and we got to see him use his techno clamp against a Skeledroid, and he crushed a droid and then slammed it to the ground. And it was very exciting to see this for, you know, Clamp Champ fans. So, all right. So that's enough about history. Let's take a closer look at that packaging. So here is the packaging for the Heroic Master of Capture. We're going to flip this around and look at the terrific Masterverse artwork. This time the artist is Simon Eckert. And the artwork is fantastic as usual. On the spine of the box, we have that posing shot of our heroic warrior. You know, the profile shot is Clamp Champ, and he's not wearing his techno clamp. He's just holding it, and it looks like he's posing in the in the palace, in the Eternos, which is pretty cool. And then on the back, uh-oh, on the back, this is the scene. And then we have Fisto, and we have Clam Champ, and they're fighting those Skeletai zombies. And this is right before the moment where they both die. And if you remember, their souls land in Skelegod's hands, and Skelegod crushes the hands and crushes those souls, and I think condemns them to hell, right? Subternia. And uh, a lot of fans did not like this moment. But you know what? I hope they come back. You know, this is Masters of the Universe. And I think the Liberated Lynn, I mean, I don't have any inside knowledge, but in Masters of the Universe Revolution, we have a new Lynn, right? And she's liberated. But I think she's probably going to have some sort of arc of redemption. And I wouldn't be surprised if she went down to Subternia to sort of save the souls of uh, Clamp Champ and Fisto and brought them back to the real world. So it's a hope I have, at least. I guess we'll see what happens uh, early in 2024. All right, so let's check out this bio. The bio reads, Clamp Champ, heroic master of capture. Evil warriors better get a grip, or Clamp Champ will give them one. Armed with his techno clamp, the heroic master of capture puts his enemies in a pinch on the battlefield. As one of Eternia's greatest heroes, he protects the royal palace from the evil forces of Skeletor. Very nice. <laughs> I think uh, Robert Rudman uh, writes these bios, and he's got some puns in there, which is very appealing to me. So, all right, so that's enough looking at this packaging. Let's get Clamp Champ out of the box. So here is the Masterverse Revelation Clamp Champ out of the box, and in 360 degrees, and wow, am I excited. I have to be honest, the last review that I did, which was the Revelation Horde Skeletor, it kind of ended on a bummer for me. I wasn't 100% satisfied with this figure, but now 
I'm back to being excited. I'm definitely satisfied with so far with what I'm seeing. I mean, this looks like the uh, Clamp Champ that came out of Masters of the Universe Revelation, you know, the animation model. I think all the colors are spot on from the fur, the red fur and the loincloth and on the boots and the boots itself and the bracers and the armor. And the only thing I can tell maybe is different is the blue is right, but on this figure, it's metallic blue and it's metallic blue here. But I think that's just an improvement. It just makes it look more realistic. So I'm really excited here. So... All right, enough with spinning around in 360 degrees. Let's get Clamp Champ down and take a closer look at that head sculpt. So here is the head of the Masterverse Revelation Clamp Champ. And wow, check out the sculpt. Check out this clean paint application. I mean, how great is this? This is a top tier head. Um, I'm not sure in regards to similarities to Masters of the Universe Revelation. I'm not sure how similar he looks facially to the way he was depicted in that cartoon. Mm, not so much, but uh, he looks gray here. Actually, you know who he looks like? <laughs> you know who he looks like? Have you ever seen the show Alias? It starred Jennifer Garner, and she was like a CIA agent, and she would use you know karate and stuff every week and had these great co-stars and carl was one of them also bradley cooper was in that show that's who he looks like carl lumbly he was also in supergirl and uh, falcon and winter soldier i believe it was such a good actor all right so this is a fantastic head sculpt and bravo mattel so in regards to accessories clamp champ comes with two closed fist punching hands and then he comes with his techno clamp. And the techno clamp actually comes in two pieces. And you have to assemble it around his arm. And uh, the first thing you do is just lift the fist like so. And you grab this like a joystick controller, you know, like a flight simulator. And the bottom stays on very tight. And then all you do is just clip on the top. And it should snap in. And there you go. And there's his techno clamp. And I actually like this look where it surrounds his arm. You know, usually in the previous figures and vintage figures, there's a handle and he holds it from underneath. But uh, the reason why it's like this is Powerhouse Animation Studios found when they were making Masters of the Universe Revelation that doing the techno clamp this way around his arm would be a lot easier to animate. And uh, But regardless if it was technically easier, I actually prefer this look aesthetically. And this is my favorite sort of techno clamp. And the pincers themselves, when you separate them, they'll snap back together. So when it comes to articulation, everything is terrific on this figure, except the head. You know, everything else is just wonderful. Everything you expect from Masterverse and those 30 points of articulation. But this head is really interesting. It, it could only go back so far. And uh, it might be a design flaw here. And I think if I push it back any further, yeah, it pops right off. So you're not going to have a complete free range of movement. Unfortunately, you just can't have him, at least on mine, he can't really look up, which, yep, up. <laughs> there goes Clamchamp's head. So other than that, it's terrific, but um, he's not going to be looking at, up at Zor anytime soon. So here's the Masterverse Revelation Clamchamp, and here's the Masterverse Revelation Fisto. And you know I just had to put these two together, because... These two have a history together. You know, anyone who's familiar with these characters knows that they are blood brothers in plastic. They have a shared history in plastic. And that's because in 1986, when Mattel made this vintage Clamp Champ figure, Clamp Champ was basically just a repaint of Fisto. All they did was take a Fisto body, replace the head, give him two normal hands, and repaint him. And that was it. Clamp Champ was born. And because of that similarities, you know, they had this common bond that I think collectors just like putting them together, especially that they're both heroic masters. And collectors just love uniting these two. And that's why it was so great to see them together in Masters of the Universe Revelation as well. 
So when there's a new Clamp Champ figure, uh, fans come to expect Clamp Champ to be a reuse of a Fisto body. And that's primarily mostly true here, but there is one additional difference. Um, starting with the feet, the boots are the same. You can tell the boot straps are painted on Clam Champ, not on Fisto, but they're definitely the same sculpts. The fur on the boots are the same. The calves, the knees, the thighs, the loincloth, and the belt is the same sculpt. Uh, the forearms are, and the biceps, and the shoulders. But there is an additional difference here, and that is the armor. And why they do have a similarity, which I like... Um, you can tell that it is a different sculpt, and um, even some of the rivets are a different size. And same thing with the back of the armor, that these are entirely different new sculpts. And even though their armor is overall still very similar, I do like having some additional unique characteristics. So what do I think of the Masterverse Revelation Wave 10 Clam Champ figure? I love him. First, I love him for the history he represents. You know, I love the fact that this is the figure from the first time he's ever appeared in animated form. And what a form this is. Look at the sculpting, you know, especially the head sculpt. It's such a fantastic head sculpt. And the, the body and the armor and the paint applications. I mean, this is just a wonderful, realized Clamp Champ figure. And I love that techno clamp, too. I love how it fits around the arm. You know, I prefer this style versus the vintage style. Is that sacrilege to say? I don't know. But I think this is the cooler look. And I'm glad Powerhouse and animation studios came up with it and for me this is really the clamp champ figure to have and yeah i would like the head articulation to be a little better so clamp champ could actually look up uh, when i'm posing him i would have loved an additional head you know you remember the horned head which is when they turned into those uh, skeletized zombies and both fisto and and clamp champ turned into those creatures i mean it would have been really cool to include that head as well so we can present that look but you know what? That's not a deal breaker here. This Clam Champ is fantastic. And I think I'm going to be displaying this guy on my shelf prominently in the front, at least for the unforeseeable future. This is a real good figure all and uh, I highly recommend it. All right. So that's it. I want to thank you all for watching and we'll see you next time.